everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Friday, July 19th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, great day to take advantage of the free $60 account at DocSports.com. I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anyone else over at DocSports.com. Com. Again, it is a free $60 account. Great trial run. Click on the link below the video to get started for DocSports.com. Here's why it might not be a bad idea to do that on Friday. Got a big Friday in store. Now, CFL, I've got a seven-unit main event going to this week's CFL. We cashed a big one last week with Hamilton. We are 80% this season in the Canadian Football League, up about two grand for those wagering just $100 per unit. Going back about a decade now in the CFL, 109 and 75 that's our current run. You don't want to miss out this week. Seven unit play. It's available right now. Watch the video. Go grab the CFL seven unit play for the weekend as we look to extend that 80% mark for the entire season. And by the way, while we're talking gridiron, let's come south of the American Canadian border and talk college football and the NFL for just a second. NFL preseason kicking off in a couple of weeks. Last year was my first full year at DocSports.com and we finished number one college football and NFL combined. And our numbers over the past couple of years tell the story. 153 and 105 college football, closing in on 60% winners. 60% winners almost in the NFL uh, with our last 393 NFL plays that we posted online the last couple of years. And again, last year, combined number one college football in the NFL at DocSports.com. Not only hit about 60% against the spread in the two leagues combined, but made almost $10,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. We had a, a run last year with our top plays, seven and eight star plays of 13 and three at one point. And my top end plays going back the last couple of years, which includes those seven unit main events, now 40 and 22 with our last 62. So don't miss out. Get that seven unit CFL play on Friday. 80% on the season is where we stand. Grab college football and NFL early bird specials. Don't forget preseason kicking off in a couple of weeks. As far as everything else, it doesn't stop there. Seven unit to play on Friday in the WNBA. There's three games. One happens to be a seven-unit play. We cashed last night. Dallas plus the points. We are now hitting about 63% of the WNBA with our last 24 plays. Go grab that. 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Friday morning, which, by the way, is the same time you'll grab my baseball action for Friday. My personal plays at DocSports.com. Anytime after 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Last two days, we've just gotten our money back in baseball because two days ago, uh, we were involved in a out and yesterday we had the Washington Nationals uh, and uh, Steven Strasburg and Atlanta changes pitchers and doesn't start Julio Tehran and as you know if you've been following me I named pitches with all my baseball sides so anyway uh, nothing to show nothing lost nothing won in baseball the last two days but we're back on Friday 11 30 a.m. Eastern 8 30 a.m. Pacific with two plays from baseball action plus the seven unit WNBA and again don't forget about this weekend seven unit play in the CFL which is available right now also quick note about tonight around 11 p.m pacific time i will have my ufc available for saturday last week's big win in the ufc makes us now nine and two lifetime at docsports.com with seven and eight unit plays in the fight game and we're up over forty three hundred dollars for one hundred dollar per unit player so don't forget about that on friday night nascar will be released saturday night about 11 p.m pacific for sunday's race all right <laughs> Getting back to the Open, by the way, in just a minute. That's why we're a little bit late tonight. We've been kind of uh, really focused in on the Open while we've been handicapping Friday's Major League Baseball and thought we'd better get that baseball play up there. And here's our free pick uh, for Friday's card. We are going to look again to the Clash, the series that we had last night uh, that San Francisco won for us in 16 innings of all things. Uh, we're back out west. Again, the Mets and the Giants. And DeGrom comes into this one. Pretty big favorite as I cut this video. Around $1.80 to $1.90 favorite depending on where you shop. And I like the value on the dog here. Listen, nothing wrong with DeGrom. We're not going to sit here and split hairs and try to find issues with his pitching. But his team doesn't score and doesn't win when he's on the mound. You go all the way back to April 9th and you'll see Jacob DeGrom when he's on the mound. The Mets have won just four of his last 17 starts. And yeah, you're usually getting a nice price with the other side when DeGrom pitches. As far as San Francisco's concerned, they got BD on the mound tonight. And BD looks like he's finding that rhythm. His 
last three starts, he's been as good as anybody. He's got an ERA of about 2.5, a little bit less than that. His whip has been tremendous in his last three starts, so he's found his rhythm, as has his team. The San Francisco Giants, after last night's win, you go back the last 19, 20 days now with San Francisco and wager blindly $100 per game, you're up nearly two dimes with this team over the last 18, 19 days. We never recommend betting blindly on anything, but that's what you would be if you were just plucking your 100 bucks a game down on the San Francisco Giants. And listen, at this price, we think the value's on the underdog here, on Beatty, who's up and coming, on the San Francisco Giants, who have got themselves right back in the thick of the play of the wild card playoff race, and against a New York Mets team that can't seem to win when they've got a great pitcher on the mound. Oh, one more thing. With that game going 16 innings last night, we had a very good chance we could rely on bullpens in this particular game, and we got a much better bullpen with the San Francisco Giants. Top five in bullpen ERA almost all season long, and I love the advantage we get with that pin over the New York Mets. So we've got a free pick today on the San Francisco Giants, the underdog with Beatty over DeGrom. All right, listen, don't forget about everything we told you that's going on Friday over at DocSports.com. Seven-unit CFL this weekend. Seven-unit WNBA goes Friday. Friday, 2-0 baseball report for Friday. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritz or DocSports.com. Put Friday in the win column right back here Saturday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with my next report.